Hey there, James Bobbin. First things first, I love the film. It is just beautiful. I was annoyed when it finished because I quite like being in that world. You've been gone too long, Alice. There are matters which might benefit from your attention. Friends cannot be neglected. Hurry. The whole point with what I was trying to do with this film and you know with him too was trying to make a place where you want to spend time. Because mm. for me that's the joy of the film is being somewhere else for an hour and a half. And there's very few things in the world you want to do for an hour and a half these days, frankly. Yeah, yeah indeed. Well that's the thing, and I was gonna ask you, Johnny, the first thing really was when these sorts of films finish, when you finish shooting them, do you go, oh, I'm not going to be able to dress up tomorrow? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Well, I can always dress up, you know. Uh, it is my prerogative. <laughs> There's something that happens, and it's a, a very inexplicable kind of part of the process, where you've spent the majority of your day being this other thing. Sometimes the other thing is pretty weird. What's the matter? The Hatter's the matter. The Hatter is my truest friend. The stuck us all at one minute to tea time. Tea time! Forever! So it's um, six years, five, six years since the, since the first one. Yep. Directed by Tim Burton. Yep. Uh, you're directing this one, mm -hmm. James. But Tim was still Producer. around. No, still around. Producer. So he was yeah, at the yeah. end of a phone call or an email, which was always incredibly helpful to have the guy who kind of created this world to be your advisor on yeah. a film is incredibly helpful, obviously. And so I was very aware at the beginning that I was building on great foundations for this film. But also I felt that because the film is set both in the past and the present and the future of the world, mm. there was room for manoeuvre to add my own little touches to it. Okay. And the Hatter, we get to see a lot more of the Hatter in this one. You get to see him as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to see various stages. He's quite sad to begin with. That was me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible CG work that kid for you. Really was yeah. amazing. Well, I did most of it. <laughs> I just made myself really, you know, small. It's incredible what you can do. Like, yeah. <laughs> the likeness was was pretty good as well. What do you think made the junior hatter mad? Well, you know, the the, the expression uh, "mad as a hatter" back in the nineteenth century, whatever. Um, Hatters used to use mercury in the glue right. to put the to you know to glue the felt or the pelt or the you know welt or the whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that rhymes with pelt. It was pretty known that hatters went kind of sideways at times. Because <laughs> he was quite he was quite a normal, pretty straight down the line kid. It looked like, and then pretty much you know. He's got so And you came along. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the, the, a lot of the original cast, so Johnny, of course, you're in it, and Mia playing Alice, mm -hmm. and you've got Helena Bonham Carter. Oh, Alice, you always were an irksome, slurvish, interrupting thing. <laughs> and Anne Hathaway. Yes. But some new arrivals as well. Yes, very much but so. the, the biggest of the new arrivals being Sasha Baron Cohen. He's not someone you want as your enemy. Time is a he. Underland. So he plays time, okay, which is, I mean, what, what a role. <laughs> what was the thing of anyone better? How was it having a newcomer into this film for you, Johnny? The second, I mean, J James and I had already talked and spent some time, got to know each other and everything, and I'd been a huge, huge uh, Ali G fan. <laughs> and then I'd worked with Sasha on Sweeney, so we got to be pals. But when I heard he was coming on to this, yeah, no, I was, I was yeah. beyond excited because he, he's... He's one of those actors that you can get into the ring with and do anything. You can throw anything at him and he'll chuck it back yeah. and force you to come out. You know, it's a, it's, it's a sort of beautiful, uh, not challenging, but, you know, uh, yeah, kind of, I guess, kind of challenging. Yeah, well, that's challenging what's good about it, because I, I, I could instinctively tell that you guys are naturally competitive. And they okay. really are, in an interesting way, both on and off camera, which I love. And you can use that energy in the scene itself, <laughs> yeah. because the scene is basically like a duel between the Hatter and Time. Right. Because they have an di instinctive dislike of each other. We do spend most of our time actually trying to, yeah, m make one another laugh. Good. More than the other guy did. And let me tell you something, that's, that's quite a, you know, a hunk of meat to chew on. <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to be funnier than Sasha Baron yes. Cohen. So Johnny, you're a fan of Sasha Baron Cohen. I know you're a fan Very of Ricky so. Gervais as Very well. You like, so. your, you like your British comedians. Ricky's a, quite a regular on my show, actually. And, and I, when he came in, I, we, we knew we were interviewing you, so I got him to ask you a question. He's a little upset with me at the moment. <laughs> oh, why? Well, I, I, I worked with Stephen Merchant on this uh, Funny or Die thing. I played Donald Trump. Okay. And uh, Stephen Merchant was in it. 
And I'd worked with Stephen before with Ricky, and 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 uh, you know Stephen and I really got on. So I just sent Ricky an email basically saying, "Listen, I've just spent some you know really nice quality time with Stephen Merchant, so I don't really need you anymore." <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for everything, you know, Johnny. Goodbye. <laughs> so so this this might uh, this might be some sort of threat. Well, no, I think. You have an opportunity maybe to make it up to him. I'll do it. So he says, would Johnny be a guest guitarist on one of my gigs as David Brent when I'm in LA? It's like two ends of the cool spectrum. So he's doing some gigs as David Brent. Okay. Would you guest on guitar? Yes. Great. There you go. Because I know music's your first love. So, you know. Indeed. You'd be uh, on stage with Brent. Would you be up for that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I would. I want to clear some rumours up, please, Johnny. There's one here. Are you moving to Manchester? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, you know, I, uh, I've never been. Oh, okay. I mean, I've always you wanted to You should probably go, go before you moved there. No, I think that's a rumour. There was one time, uh, uh, there was a point I was uh, apparently moving to uh, Bath. Right. Um, and I was spotted down at the local uh, market buying spatulas, I think. <laughs> Did that actually happen? If I were caught with, m like, plural amount of spatulas, <laughs> I'd be in prison. Right? <laughs> I mean... Okay, so no Manchester. Maybe Bath. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I'll, I'll, I'm sure. Liverpool, Blackpool. Yeah, I know. I'll go all over the joint. Why not? Weirdly, on the subject of baths, did you once buy a bath from a shop in Norwich? I, this is a rumour that I, I'm not making this up. This, this is a rumour I heard. I've always wanted to ask you. And apparently, mm. it was a beautiful bath. <laughs> with, Did uh, you have a sudden need for a bath to purchase in the East, East Anglia region of England? It seems unlikely. Oh yes, it was. Sudden. <laughs> it was, it was, it was very sudden. It was very sudden. Right. But uh, no, no, we we, uh, we 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 disposed of the thing, and uh, it's all everything's fine. It's these are real spottings of him. I don't know well, what it was. people claim it was him. These are real claims. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's true. Yeah, you, you, get around, true. you get around a lot. <laughs> it's so geographically diverse. Manchester and Norwich, amazing. Yeah. Johnny Depp does what he wants. Yeah, he moves go. to Manchester. Just yeah. buys a bath in Norwich. <laughs> Norwich yeah, sure, just because you can. Man, there was the spatulas that killed <laughs> The spatulas. <laughs> Sounds like a party you... to me. Johnny and James, thank you so much for Pleasure. your time today. Thank you. I'm um, thrilled you like the film. Thank you very much. I really do. The film is out on Friday, and I'll see you very soon. Thank you.